is Seymour Warfuxel and the Black Hole Report uncovering the faux facts that spin the global monopoly game of life till the cat meows. Since the iron isn't around anymore to straighten things out. Now I know you all think you're pirates because you post stupid comments on the inner tubes and never walk the gangplank. But this here little fella, Sir Stuffington, he's the real deal. He's only got one eye, Captain. No, I said one, not I-I, Captain. Sir Stuffington, officially renamed Rascal the Pirate by yours truly, is all about raising funds for animal shelters. What a nice kitty. Animal shelters need a facelift, and some of the animals do too. Dogs, pigs, and even horses could all use a redo, like this talking pig right here. Yeah, Anthony the Wiener in the total remote mode. Uh, no, not a sex change operation or even a brain transplant. We're talking the scariest change you could think of. He wants to become a member of the media. And before you laugh, there are a number of shows already in development. Or I should say, arrested development. A cooking show. Anthony's Party Tray. Meatballs and Sausage Edition. A workout show. Rubber Maid. Bend Overs and Crotch Stretches. A history show. Our founding philanderers. Slaves to Fashion and Father of the Bridegroom and the Kids. And finally, a tell-all documentary. I wish I was not an Oscar Mayer Wiener. If Wiener gets his shot, I'm sure he'll stick his mic in somebody's face. Iranian President Hassan Rouhani visited the UN. Another Iranian hell-bent on spreading kisses and cheer and best wishes for a happy holiday season. What the hell? Next thing you know, he'll acknowledge the Holocaust. Well, he did! Yikes! They must really be running out of episodes of Bonanza to run on state TV. Listen, I know you're all spiked that reruns are over and new TV shows are on, but the Ted Cruz Comedy Hour went down in flames after an all-day marathon. And Cruz wanted to stop Obamacare in the Congress, stop me if you've heard this before, and started a grandstand talkathon to blabber his way out of funding for Obamacare, even though that wasn't going to happen. We got some big wig liberal do goody commie pinko types to scream, Enough already! Like uh, John McCain. Cruz had all kinds of happy talk to keep him going. Cruz talked about the World Wide Wrestling Federation. He even read Green Eggs and Ham. Then he compared Obamacare accepting acceptance to European cowering to Hitler. Well, that blew McCain's top as it should. Maybe you can't blame Teddy Bear, though. Maybe he didn't study real American history and how we feel about men and women who served the U.S. in World War II. After all, he's a foreigner. So he may just be full of horse feathers or a horse's ass. And of course, after that 20 hours of babbling on and on, we sure know one thing. He's a talking horse. This is Seymour Foxhall and the Black Hole Report. A horse is a horse, of course, of course. And no one can talk to a horse, of course. That is, of course, unless the... <laughs> I'm